Hey, long riders! Welcome back to Everything Fly Fishing, where we tie flies to catch fish, not fishermen. And today we're going to cover one of them flies. It's the olive lively leg pheasant tail nymph, and it's a killer fly. And you probably already watched the video. If not, we'll go back at the end of this video and tell you the video to watch where Tracy kills him on Penn's Creek on this fly. Now let's get to the vice. We are starting with a size 12 lip splitter nymph hook and it's really it's a thick uh, hook so and a 532nd size bead. And we're using 70 denier black thread. Start to be the thread right behind the bead and run it back about halfway. Now we have the small ultra wire. It's a sunfire or fire or uh, yellow. It's really, it's almost really close to gold and it's amazing stuff. Um, we're going to use that as a rib. Okay, what we have here is olive dyed pheasant tail. And we're going to use that. If you don't have olive dyed pheasant tails, just use regular pheasant tail. We're going to use that as the main body of the fly and the tail. So now what you're going to do is measure your tail and then put a couple wraps to secure your tail down. Pull the other pheasant tail back and then wrap your thread up towards your bead and that's where you're going to let your thread set now wrap your pheasant tail forward right up to where your thread is and tie that off Hey dummy, try using a hackle pliers. Yeah, hackle pliers. Try using them once in a while. It makes this job a lot easier. Okay, continue wrapping your pheasant tail up to the where your thread is. And don't be a dummy like me and use your hackle pliers. Now, take your wire and wrap it up as a rib. And you want to counter wrap the opposite way you wrapped your pheasant tail. That'll make a stronger fly and you'll be able to see your ribbing better. Now, you're going to take some nymph skin, peel the paper off. And I cut it about an eighth of an inch. You want to make sure it don't snag up on your legs. Tie it in on top of the hook so that when you wrap it over, it's directly over top of the legs to make a sh to make a shell or shell back. You 
Now you might have to tie a couple of these till you learn exactly how far back you run your thread. But you'll learn after tying a couple how far back. Using our a really dark, almost black, but they're dark purple, speckled, and they have kind of like a flash sparkling in them. Now on these legs, if you get some, you're going to notice there's legs going forward and the other ones go back. You're going to tie the ones that are going forward right behind the bead, directly behind the bead. Wrap your thread back and stop it right back behind the second set of legs. And then you're going to cut the third set of legs all the way off. And you can cut them right off behind the second set. You're going to cut the third set off. Now I hope I, you can see this as I spin this fly, uh, what I'm saying here, um, I think in fly, flies like this in the future I'm going to use my rotation device just for video recording purposes, but uh, yeah, it's just a, I'm tied, I'll tie all the rest in the beginner's vice. Now you can pull up on the back legs. I kind of like to stretch the rubber out a little bit, then cut the back legs off. Then you're going to pull that little tab right behind the bead. You're going to pull up on that, cut that off. So then you're going to have two legs left. Now we're going to use some olive ice dubbing. Almost black, a real dark olive. Now we're likely going to dub in between the legs and up right behind the bead with that olive ice dubbing. Now you're going to wrap the nymph skin over and tie it down behind the bead. Cut off the other nymph skin. I'm going to throw a whip finish on here. Check out the next video up here and maybe some other videos like this. Check out our other time videos. Keep your lines wet, out of trees, and only give them fish. I saw it.